wonderful morning everybody. Been a while. <laughs> I do have to apologize to all you guys that uh, sent supportive comments uh, on the last video. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's, I know you have no influence directly <laughs> because I'm, you know, whatever I'm doing and what I'm going through uh, is something I have to basically just kind of um, chew and digest myself, but uh, it does help uh, with all the support and thank you for hanging in there. That's the most important thing, uh, that you're willing to give me the space in order to get things squared away. Now, as you can tell, uh, I'm in much better mood. Uh, things are starting to fall into place. Um, I've used the time well just to kind of get out of my my kind of yeah dark spot and uh, started to you know just kind of get shit together again um big I big ticket item has started to shift in the right direction which is wonderful the other ones are following suit so makes your makes you feel a whole lot better so blah then just that's just kind of explaining it's wonderful to be here it's wonderful to see you guys again so <laughs> Let's get shaving. As you can tell, I have been lazy. And that is all. Just lazy. It's not that I didn't have the time or anything like that. There's always time to shave. But it was just, you know, this came up, this came up, this came up, and you just didn't feel like it. Yesterday I wanted to make this video. Uh, today is Sunday. Sunday morning. And uh, yesterday I had uh, did some yard work outside, which um, usually when I get a little bit sweaty and, you know, you push the lawnmower and kick up dust, with fresh shaven skin, it will cause irritation. That's why I'm just kind of like, all right, you know what? Psh. We'll do this uh, Sunday morning, nice and quiet. And it is rainy out, so uh, it's going to be a quiet day. Uh, actually looking forward to it. So let's get into it. Let's get this stuff off the face. This will be the soap for the day. Sharp dressed man, sterling, always wonderful. Love that scent. Mm. This is, <laughs> this is the only full-size tub I have of Sterling's. All the other ones are my mashed up samples, you know, one ounce samples. If it's two or three, um, sometimes I have that in their separate tins. But this is the only one where I knew I wanted a full-size one. So, oh, I love that scent. <laughs> Performance, not to be uh, discussed because it's just absolutely awesome. So since it's Sunday, I am using my favorite and uh, favorite of Alex Dillion's, my nice little shave mac. So using that, I think he's got his own now, so congrats on that one. <laughs> Due to a gracious donor. Blade for today, the Dorco Titan. I think it's the second use on this one. And razor of the day, my red tip. That red tip. This is the A2. A2, I think that's a 55, 56 second quarter. Wonderful shape. I absolutely dig this razor. Let's get it in there. Just throw it in, turn it, check the alignment. Something that should be done with every razor, be it new or old. And before you put it to your face, just make sure the blade is laying in there. You don't want to get something skewed and all of a sudden work up your face. All right. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Had a good weekend. Um, Friday was a little busy yesterday, just kind of yard work, as I said. A little bit too... I'm, I'm definitely not in training anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, just kind of getting the... Get a, little, get a little bit of water out of the tub here. But I am going in fairly wet. Just kind of mixing it up. Can go a little bit heavy because I am going to need a little bit more on the face just to kind of get through this growth, the weeds. Speaking of weeds, yeah, yard looks a mess. <laughs> so that's why I was working outside, trying to get a handle on things. Um, we've had a very, very long spring time. 
with uh, very moderate temperatures and now all of a sudden things are starting to kick into gear and they're kicking into gear big time so stuff is exploding outside and of course me with you know just kind of being preoccupied with other things didn't necessarily help Oops. But we're getting a handle on things. Like I said, I'm, I'm <laughs> getting my head out of my ass. Pardon the French. And to all the French speakers, that's just saying it. Sorry. <laughs> I know Mark from Dartmouth Shaving sometimes watches the videos, and that's why I'm kind of like, you know, he, he might be offended on that one, but he knows who it's coming from. So... <laughs> Dip in it a little bit. Very creamy. I just love the consistency of the sterling. Tallow soap, of course. Just in case of you, for, for the ones of you who don't know, it's tallow based. Uh, says so right on the label. Tallow, lanolin, and shea butter. And uh, they've got a good base. I don't think they've changed or played around much with the formulation, the formulation since they've uh, got that down. If they did, I wouldn't know because I, uh, the tub is about a year and a half old. So, But I have not heard anything. Then again, I haven't quite been in touch here lately. I have dabbled off into another hobby a little bit. Just kind of got back into the stereo. Basically, you know what what happened there was uh, I was uh, got a spare bedroom which kind of houses all the sort of knickknacks, uh, you know, spare moving boxes that you haven't touched yet and that need to be gone through. You know, like other people have that in the garage or in the attic. I don't even want to start with the attic, but this is kind of the spare bedroom. And my 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 whole stereo equipment was in there. And I was in there, you know, sorting stuff out, listening to the radio on my cell phone with the little squawky speaker. And I bumped my foot on the, uh, <laughs> on the infinity um, floor speakers, the big ones that I got. And cussed it out, and then you know that kind of moment is kind of why the heck am I listening to the radio on my cell phone if I've got a really good stereo equipment? So that kind of got things going there. All right, let's get the razor going, uh, wetting it, and let's see to it that we scrape this stuff off. Yeah, try to remove this stuff with a cartridge you'd be done. As you can tell it took off pretty much all of it and just rinsed it. There was nothing really major where I needed to rinse or touch it and it rinsed clean. So big big advantage if you're only shaving you know like uh, with larger intervals. Some people do, not everybody's a daily shaver. Right now, neither am I. But the uh, classic safety razor design definitely has the advantage. Because what carts, even the, even the ones that I would consider using, you know, like the, the vintage ones with maybe two blades, will clog. Don't... Uh, think any different there. You'd have to start off with a trimmer just to kind of create a playing field that these carts can handle.
Now, going over here, you know, with several days, I think it's like, what, I don't know, 10, 12 days again, uh, of growth, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pushing it with the amount of real estate I'm trying to remove in one go. And even the safety razors can clog. It's just a matter of paying attention to what you're doing, but you know, it's kind of you're gonna be all right. I'm not gonna show you in any detail because that's kind of gross, you know, seeing all that stubble. But uh, yeah, big big advantage to the safety razor. It can just about handle. A full almost week and a half worth of growth and not get bogged down. Very nice. Very convenient. <laughs> Light touch. Oh no way, the scent is just fantastic. Blade is doing well. Soap is really doing well, and uh, yeah, this is this is one of the more aggressive versions of the super speed, but nonetheless, it's still a super speed, um, which I put somewhere in the moderate lineup. In general, I think there was. Oh, look at that! Got me. Um, there's bound to be some bumps. And, and stuff like that, which we're hiding underneath the scrolls. Yeah, um, I was saying the uh, super speeds in general are still somewhat moderate, even though this is the more aggressive one. And as you can tell, it had. I just step it up a little bit. There we go. It had absolutely no trouble knocking that off the face. This is what I'm. This is why I like the DE razor. A lot of guys would say, "Hey, you know, you could have used a, a straight razor." I'm not dabbling into that. I'm terribly sorry. That's a whole another game of technique and and stuff. And, I'm happy with the results that I'm getting off my DEs, and so I will stick with them. I do have my SEs in case I do want to switch it up a little bit, but yeah, in general, I'm happy. <laughs> it works for me, as you can tell. So enough of me. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> I just got a message from... <laughs> From Brad up in Canada. He's in, uh, I'd say about the center part of Ontario, I think somewhere along that line, and he is getting kind of like an ice storm. Seriously? <laughs> it's mid-April. I mean, I know, you know, April is kind of always known for weird weather, but at some point in time you'd figure we'd go on, especially since all the snow has already melted. So, sorry to hear. Whoever is out there and also affected by similar weather, uh, just be careful, okay? <laughs> Ice is nothing to be sneezed at. Going against the grain. Very smooth combination, very efficient too. Very much liking this. Yeah, and on the previous video, as with this, you were able to see how weird my growth is. So, that's something definitely to pay attention to, even with a cartridge razor. Uh, hold on, let me just. Hope you don't get seasick. Here we go. Just let me bend that down a little bit. Um, yeah. 
even if you are using a cartridge razor, I'm shaving daily, knowing your growth and observing growth patterns will give you the better and smoother shave. You just gotta listen to your skin. Certain spots you might only be able to hit across the grain and skip the uh, against the grain pass just to avoid irritation and yeah. it should in theory give you the superior shave regardless of hardware Now, in, in my case here, hardware is important because a four-bladed cartridge razor would have thrown in the towel after probably about two or three strokes. And cleaning that sucker out is annoying and then you fall into the, typically fall into the habit of pressing down just to kind of get, you know, one more stroke out of it. Pressing down equals irritation, yada, yada, yada. And there you go, you got a shitty shape, you know. Uh, it's all about just kind of paying attention to what your skin's doing. What will allow, what will it allow you to do? Keep it enjoyable. There's few occasions when I really need to go super close. I mean, we're talking full BBS. Right now, I'm just kind of going for uh, DFS. If it's a DFS plus shave, fantastic. If not, okay. There we go. A little bit down there. Okay. And that was basically the two passes I do. Like I said, I only do two full passes with the grain and kind of against the grain. Across the grain is always in there somewhere. But if I would do a full third pass, I get serious irritation. Why is this soap slick? If you add water to it, your hands, you will feel it. You need to get a good grip on the razor. <laughs> but a couple of spots down here, which I just want to touch up. Doesn't need a very thick layer. We're just wanting to glide, and there's still a decent amount right here in the brush. So, good enough for what we needed, right? So, yeah. Good enough. Right here. I'm just kind of creating because this is this is a difficult spot for me. There's a swirl, and you got the jawline, which creates basically you know like a divot. So having a couple of pounds extra helps. <laughs> Just kind of double chin it a little bit. There we go. Just wonderful. It's good enough, good enough for right there. Very light touch. Got it. <laughs> cool. We are done. And I'll rinse and then I'll be back for the post. And we're back. Wow. Sterling soaps always amazes me how nicely it leaves your skin. Um, now, it does take a little bit of rinsing off. Uh, there's a lot of just kind of skin goodies that'll stay on there and just make it feel a little slick. So you 
think maybe uh, there's still, you know, I need to rinse, I need to rinse, I need to rinse now. Some of it you can actually leave on there. Just take it as is. Just make sure that the soap is off. If you've rinsed a couple of times, I think you're going to be good. There's a number of soaps that uh, are similar uh, that can get that kind of performance level. One of them is uh, Russell's uh, Wild West Shaving Company. Um, Erica's Stash Soap Works, which is a vegan, oddly enough. Um, Russell's soap is also tallow. Um, there's a number of really good soaps out now. I mean, there's, I don't think there's, you know, as, as advanced as we are in the, in the wet shaving community. <laughs> Honestly, if there was any, any soap that was uh, bad, it would have already died off. <laughs> With uh, you know everybody being interlinked and it being a large community, uh, word would spread quickly. All right, um, witch hazel, standard variety, store bought, buck fifty, two bucks, something like that. Very medicinal scent. Works. Nice alcohol scent. Ah, uh, but refreshing. And the uh, <clears throat> rather medicinal alcohol scent. Excuse me will be very fleeting uh, it's gone within a couple of minutes which is basically about as long as it takes to just kind of sum it all up we did our shave now. let me just pack this away ah oh, feeling good feeling human again there we go <laughs> all right soap of the day fantastic product sterling soap company sharp dressed man love the scent um, it is a green Irish tweed from Creed, um, their version of it, and even though I've been told it smells a little old manny, I'm getting old, ha, I can wear it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Brush of the day, it is Sunday, it is shave mat day, and then again I will use it on any other given day too, because it is just a fantastic brush. This is the Dio one um, silver tip, the three band, fantastic, not pretty dense, uh, but not too dense, uh, created a wonderful creamy leather. It's got a, the leather has a certain texture, even if, you know, I take one of my other superb, uh, badger brushes, there is something about the consistency of the lather made with that brush, which is just a little bit different. I don't know, it's a little creamier. Who knows, maybe it's a placebo effect. Uh, maybe I'm just kind of going nuts, but uh, it's just something, you know, yeah. who knows. Anyway, brush thing, ah, razor. Red tip, Gillette, fantastic. Uh, a little more on the aggressive side on the super speeds, but uh, wonderful, nice heft. Uh, this one is in fantastic nick. Um, absolutely love it, and uh, so thank you, Brad. Use that. Hold on, let me see here. Oh, there's a little bit of soap on there, kind of figured. With the Dorco Titan Titan. Wonderful blade. Um, one of Dorco's uh, better blades. They have some very entry level ones, which are. Um, they have the, uh, the Prime, the Dorco Primes, the Platinums, which are also great. And these are basically on the same level. I'm sometimes wondering if it's just relabeling thing, but um, I get along great with them. Uh, very versatile blade, works in a lot of my razors. So, happy I got some. Uh, Troy, the Wisconsin shaver, kind of got that going. Uh, he got him first, I think. At least, you know, out of my realm. So, thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, it looks like somebody wants to come in. Uh, it's not happening. Go away. <laughs> the cat. So. <laughs> uh, they can't stand closed doors. Now. That little weeper. Uh, kind of calmed down, I think. Not a bad shave. Dried off. Feeling good. Matching aftershave. Alcohol. No menthol. Um. I'd like to keep this one pure, although I do love some menthol every now and then, not too much, but a little bit. And this might, this might sting. Oh, mm -hmm. feedback. 
The reason the skin is a little tender. I did not over shave too much, but it has not been shaven in a couple of days. So it will kind of give you a little feedback on the abuse you've just done by shaving. You can toughen up and I need to toughen it up again. So I need to get back in the game, hopefully making more videos again, which I actually do enjoy. It was just too much at once. So I had to lay off a little bit. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> being able to put a smile on camera should be genuine and not, I mean, I'm a bad actor. There's some, you know, some people that can pull it off, but, uh, then other people are actors and actually, uh, you can tell if it's, uh, you can tell that it's the genuine thing. <laughs> They're not acting. You know who you are. But, uh, yeah. yeah. A little bit there. Bound to happen. Sting's already gone. It's going to be a little bit red, naturally. Like I said, if you only shave once a week, you're bound to get a little bit of irritation. Um, more than when you shave daily. You're... Your skin will toughen up with time. That is the one thing I can promise you. It does. Mine does too. Uh, yours will also. But right now, yeah, like I said, it gave me just a little bit more feedback than I'm used to. But to be expected. Nothing I'm worried about right now. It's already gone. Um, feeling good. Skin feels wonderful. <laughs> Coffee should be done by the time I'm out of here because I started that before I made the video. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Um, keep your heads up. I'm trying to do the same. And uh, I'll see you sooner this time. That much I can promise. All right? Hang in there. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.